everything. Okay, today as I prepare for hurricane season 2018 with uh, Florence battling uh, North Carolina, I thought it's a good time to actually replace the propane regulator on the beast. What happened last year is it's very stuttery and I had to go to gas. It was just chugga, 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 chugga. So we're gonna do another propane test this year. And everything I've noticed, and I learned something, whenever you can notice, get in here. Tapered fitting or not. You don't put plumbing tape, or I'm sorry, Teflon tape on a tapered fitting, but only pipe fittings that are straight. So that, I'm going to consider, oops, sorry, I'm going to consider tapered because last year we had trouble this bubbling up and my research said, hey, do not use this tape. So if it's tapered, do not use the Teflon tape. There is the regulator. How you remove it is there was a bolt, excuse me, right here. I was able to get that bolt out. This bolt is being a mother of pearl to get out. So I bought some new tools to get that one. All right, let's see if it gets it. Okay, with the Monster 2000 here, it has a basic tool that and tool bag that it comes with. This is the tool bag. Comes with a basic screwdriver and this wrench. This works on 90% of the bolts and parts that are on the generator. However, comma, this one is the bolt stripped and this one's just not working, it's on tight. So I'm going to use this tool which I bought because the crescent wrench wasn't working. Now I'm gonna use a technique known as back and forth and back and forth. I've also heard about rubber bands, but no rubber bands. So let's see if I can get that stupid bolt off. Okay, so the screw didn't want to come out with force, heat, or a wrench. So I had to bring the bad boy out. The Kraken. Finally, as you can see, not the most pretty, but that thing's very light. Shouldn't be a problem. Ugh. But in the end, brute strength. Ar, 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 so ar, this ar. are the four bolts I'm gonna have to take off. One, two, three, four here. This is a heat shield. So it's just these four. Because if you look at the new one, Those are the four screws. These guys are torqued on so heavy, I cannot believe it. So that's gonna be fun to get these four off. Not the 10 minute project I was thinking about. But then again, what is? All right, I found the secret to getting these loose. Company supplied wrench. What you do is get this guy, loosen him this way, and then the opposite way, turn this bolt. So then they come off fairly easy. So just get in here with the wrench. I uh, can't see it. Loosen him this way. Then come around and turn this guy the other way. Uh, new regulator is in. Uh, that is a 10 millimeter bolt. Or actually, that's a different size. I gotta figure that one out. Hang on, that's it. Well, anyway, I'll give you the size in the description. So I bolted that down tight with the standard, well I guess that's an actually it's probably an eight millimeter, eight millimeter bolt here. So I tighten that down. He's solid, he ain't going anywhere. I have to research this. That looks like not flange to me. So I need to make sure if I need to get some Teflon tape. All right, off to Google.
All right, as you see, I've got that tightened in. And as I'll tell you, um, use two wrenches so you can offset it because it'll you don't want to you know torque it. So use one to lock it down and one to and one to twist it. So all right, phase two will be the main gas line projection. Uh, last year I put on Teflon tape and I learned later after the fact that you use gas line tape. Now last year there was a big discussion between a bunch of my neighbors and all this mess, but in the end as you see there's Teflon tape on there. And as one YouTuber told me, thank you by the way, uh, no Teflon tape. So let me get that removed. And as you can see, get every last little nibble bit out. Oh, I need something to get pried in there. Now, always look around, make sure you get every bit of that tape off. Okay, now we'll do the clockwise gas okay, line. Okay, this was the learning curve on my first generator, We're hooking into propane, etc., etc. Only later in life did I find out after research and a lot of people commenting on my YouTube videos and thank you. I don't need that second regulator. I already have one, as you notice, I just put in. Now, we have the biggest leak problem here, I think because of all of the Teflon tape, and here was leaking. So this year I'm going to try to tighten that up. So I'm going to try to pull that guy off and go straight connection to there. Now as you notice, this one uh, hooks down to my actual generator. Now. Once I took that off this generator, obviously, you know, not gonna happen, right? No, no, wrong connection. <clears throat> I'm still gonna try with the second regulator in, because in theory, I think this needs like 2.7 uh, PSI for the generator, if I remember from the manual. So I'm gonna try, because otherwise now I'm gonna have to go to the gas store to get an adapter for this to go on to that. So let me clean all this mess out the last year. All that Teflon tape, all that Teflon tape there. See how good I can get that cleaned up and do it right. Propane. Okay. Let's see if it works this year. I have all that yucky Teflon tape. So that little speck right there. Um, Okay, you have all the Teflon tape. This is all clean now. You can see on both sides. Oops, there we go, right here. Okay, everything's clean. I cleaned out the regulator. Is that all nice? That's plastic, you see, that's kind of scrapey. And have that all clean. So now we're gonna try to connect everything with gas tape and see if we can stop the leaks this time. So you at least get a, about a minute's worth of gas when you finally think you shut everything up. All right, now we're gonna go to propane. The hiss. Nothing smelled. Gas obviously is off. All right, we're gonna check my new regulator. One, two, three, four, five, six. I actually hear it pumping. I didn't hear that in the old one. All right. Will it start up? Will things blow up? All right, what I did last time was just shudder. Like, uh, uh.
That's my line. Stepified, babe. Let a star do this. That's all. That's all, folks. Can I go home now? <laughs> <laughs>